What's up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. In this video we will be looking at the Ballistica Prime, which is basically a bow, a mini crossbow. I'm not sure what kind of weapon it is, but it's considered a bow in my perspective. And since it is a bow, it is made to one shot mostly, well, enemies I guess. You guys can say that actually, one, one shot. So I'm going to show you guys uh, three builds, two builds for crits and one build just purely for status. And we will get straight into that, but first let's get a look at the appearance of this weapon. And that is the Dali Ballistica skin. I don't remember how I got this. Uh, oh, okay, so it's a virus got the signature skin, which is okay. So, this build is pretty good. I like I actually like the bow, or the weapon itself, and the skin. Onto the build. Now I have here three builds, like I said before, but let's take a look at the first build here. And the first build is the Riven version with 111 multi-shot, 84 to critical damage, 137 to critical chance. Now that is what I call a roll of the gods, I would say, since it considers to be a most likely a god roll to some people. However, for the weapon, it does not really like status chance, I mean critical chance that much. And with that in mind, it only get 84%. But regardless of that, uh, 5.9 to critical multiplier, that's insane. So with that, I have a viral build here. Uh, so this is an all around build for all factions, not just Grenier's or anything like that, or Corpus, just all around. So I'm going to show you guys the damage on that, but first let's take a look at the Exodus mod here. So for the Exodus mod, uh, for all the builds here of course, you want to get the Lethal Momentum because of the projectile it uh, sends out. So basically since it's a projectile, uh, you want to travel it faster, that way it becomes more of a bullet than usual. So I recommend having the Lethal Momentum, otherwise if you guys do not want to have Lethal Momentum on this, you guys don't care about it, then I recommend Steady Hands or the Primed Pistol Ammo Mutation for those that want to use the weapon a lot. Otherwise, uh, Lethal Momentum is pretty good here. You guys can replace Lethal Momentum for Energizing Shot for those that want to uh, get some energy orbs if you guys want to. It's up to you guys. For But Lethal Momentum is recommended here. Okay, so onto the second build. This is the non-Riven version. And this is a different status. This is a corrosive status this time. It's not really viral. This is corrosive. So I, sh I will show you guys the corrosive uh, damage on the uh, on the Greeniers or Heavy Greeniers level 170s. So this one's basically uh, similar to the other one, except that it's less damage. The third build I have is a little bit different. This one's only a status build. No crits. Pure status. And since it has 33% uh, status chance per, per, per projectile, and you do around, like I say, 4 to 5 arrows, that's over around 100% chance to land one uh, uh, status so I would say at least one arrow was land a status on this so that's corrosive here you guys can obviously swap out the status to viral or blast or to whatever you guys want just so make sure that you guys have four status mods on the bottom with 60 60s and 90s on this on well 90s so I'm sure you guys this as well now the magnum force obviously lowers the accuracy which is why uh, when it comes to Magnum Force, you guys can replace this with a Riven, obviously, or you guys can straight up just uh, keep Magnum Force. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the damage on the first build, second and third. No Companions, no Arcanes. Enemies will be level 170 Heavy Gunners, as always. Starting with the Body Shot, I'm not going to charge a shot this time. So just only like almost almost the full mags I will kill them all. Now how about the headshot without fully charging the uh, bow? Well, you guys can see that I like literally almost killed that. Let's try one more time. I missed. I missed one shot, but it's fine. So that's the damage on that. What about charge shots? Well, let's do body shot first. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Obviously when you charge shot kill someone, uh, they spawn that. Basically, only like stays alive for like a few seconds. It's not bad. Let's try one more time. So around two shots to three shots, if I'm lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the second build. Now this is the corrosive version. I'm gonna do the non-charged shots first to the body. And then I'm going to show you the head. And then I'm going to show you the charge shot to the body. Now, obviously, when it comes to corrosive versus viral, they're both pretty much similar. It depends on the enemy. 
since viral is mostly around all targets, it's pretty good on viral. Uh, it's pretty good to use viral. But then again, it's up to you guys. It's personal preference, I would say. So that's the second uh, build. Obviously, when you do the headshot on the charge shot, obviously you're going to get one or two shotted, right? So you guys can probably predict that. But what about status only? I'm going to show you guys the status only. Let's go with charge shots this time. So not really that strong and when it comes to uh, this build, but it does get the job done still for those that only want to do status. Okay, I'm going to do some body shots without charging. Not very ideal here. It's the body shots on the head. It's like four to five shots in there. So those are the damage types on the on the builds. Obviously, I recommend using the second build, which is non-riven crits only. Uh, the status one's like my it's like pretty much third place because of no crits at all. Hardly any crits on the arrows. Uh, the crit damage is fine, I guess, but when it comes to killing enemies, you want to get some crits on this because 50% on the ballistica is actually not bad. If you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until we meet again, you guys. Peace out.